from the depths of Alta Loma and the heights of Cucamonga Peak, it's On the Couch with Dr. Strange. Oh, hi everyone. I didn't know you'd be here. At least someone's here. More to come after that. Thanks everyone. Hey, what's up buddy? Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. You guys are way too kind. Stop your feet. Enough! Okay. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us for episode six of On the Couch with Dr. Strange. I have a microphone so you can hear me better. And I have cue cards. Yeah, I have cue cards. It's just like me in bed, you know. Unless I'm being told what to do, it's going to end very poorly. Oopsie. <laughs> okay. And now it's time for, can you hear me okay? Is this on? It's time for our first monologue ever. Monologue. That's a weird word. Monologue. It kind of sounds like something you left in the toilet. You know, like a crap. You know, like, um, I'm sorry, that, that's a weird word. Monologue. Shut up, Wayne. Uh, speaking of weird names, band names are kind of funny and weird. You have bands like the Circle Jerks, the Butthole Surfers, the Melvins. But the bands from the 70s, they're even funnier. Bands like Fog Hat, Bread, Wild Cherry, Uriah Heap. Uriah Heap? That sounds like something that you left in the toilet after a late night of partying with friends. You're like, you're, you're drunk, you go to the toilet, you lift it up, you're like, oh my God, who left that massive Uriah Heap in there? Jesus Christ, superstar. Was that you, Leonard Skinner? <laughs> okay, I know the last two jokes were shit jokes, but you have to stick with what you know. Speaking of shit, I just crapped myself. It was, it was not an accident. It's a political statement, man. It's my way of giving the middle finger to the man. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't complain about the lame jokes. You guys didn't pay for them. Okay, here's a joke for you locals to Cucamonga. Have you guys ever been to Pizza Royale? It's right down the street there. Their pizza is so bad, and this is not a joke. Their pizza is so bad that the CIA actually uses it as an interrogation method. It's like, oh! Please, I'll tell you anything you want to know. No more pizza. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. We're going to interview the defects. Actually, we would, but they didn't show up. So we're going to do something better because I prepared for this, as I always do. I have my cue cards and cheat sheets. So let's go interview a surrogate for the defects. See what they say. Okay. Um... And what was it like growing up in Ireland, you know, during the 70s? A lot of people don't realize this, especially our viewers, because you're between 25 and 34, that the IRA, the Irish Republic Army, uh, either classify as liberators or freedom fighters or terrorists. You know, it has a lot to do with the United Kingdom trying to bring into the fold Northern Ireland, and a lot of those people didn't want that. Um, so, you know, explain further, if you can, what that was like growing up in, in Northern Ireland during the late 70s and early 80s. Yeah. Okay, well, well, we'll go on to something else. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now your first EP was put out by yourselves on Casualty Records. And then after that, you guys went to label WXYZ, which is also the same label as the anti Nora League. Uh, was that owned by the anti Nora League? Was that their label? No? Okay. Nope. Didn't know that one. Alright, that's fine. That's cool. Um, you guys moved in the early 80s from Ireland to England, to London. Was that like a decision that you made based on a band decision? Or was that a decision based on like better work? And did you have any conflict where you stood politically with Northern Ireland and the quote-unquote oppressors of England? Did you feel any conflict about that living there? No? Okay. He's not sure. That's fine, that's cool. Oh, here's a good one. While living in London, it's rumored that you guys actually live next door or were on the same street of Lemmy from Motorhead. Is that true? No, he doesn't remember. He's not sure about that one. I guess we can come back to that. So you have no yeah, stories? come back to it, please. Okay. Oh, here's one from our mutual buddy, Dave. Hi, Dave, from Australia. What's your favorite type of potato? Not sure. Oh, here's another one. I forgot your name, I'm sorry, but from Facebook, uh, you sent a message asking, who did your the Defects logo? Oh, 
get another you know. Okay. What's the reason that you guys decided to reform? Like, you know, why did you do it now? And the lyrics and your topics uh, that you had back in the early 80s as opposed to now, are they similar? Are they different? Are they more political or less political? Oh, God damn, this guy doesn't know anything, does he? Fucking A. You, have you guys been happy with the response of the crowds showing up, the people? Do they seem like they're into it? Do they know who the band is? No? Okay. Probably because the bright lights are hitting you and you don't see anyone up there. Okay, well that makes sense. Do your fans differ from back then than today? No? God damn. This is guy. Alright. Uh, well, you guys are playing tonight in Riverside uh, at 6 o'clock. The show is $15. So if anyone is around, maybe you're on your way there right now instead of here. I don't know. Or you got lots. That's okay. That's cool. Things happen. And I just didn't want to not do this because, man, those jokes are kick ass. But only if you're drunk. Okay, this Thursday, coming up, live on the couch, on the radio station, the world famous, all around good person, Alice Bag and me on Chaotic Radio. On the couch, on Chaotic Radio, July 31st, right here on his lap, on his small dick. Red Death will be here. Shattered Faith, One Way System, anti Noah League, they're all going to be here. You're going to be here. You're going to be there, here, there. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here! <laughs> Ask them something they know next time. I know. Wow.